First, we turn to a letter from Paul to Timothy, a young church leader in Ephesus. He warns of a time marked by a decline in moral values, where people become lovers of themselves and money, where boasting, pride and a lack of gratitude dominate. It's a vivid picture, isn't it? It's as if Paul peers into a future where the world is teeming with rash, conceited individuals, more in love with pleasure than with God. Now let's shift our gaze to the words of Jesus in the book of Matthew. He speaks of wars and rumours of wars, of nations and kingdoms clashing, and of widespread famines, pestilences and earthquakes. Yet he reassures us not to be troubled, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Not. In Ephesians, Paul presents another perspective. Our struggles, he suggests, are not merely against flesh and blood, but against unseen forces of darkness and spiritual wickedness. This wrestle is not a physical one, but a spiritual battle against cosmic powers that rule this present darkness. Meanwhile, in his second letter to the Corinthians, Paul talks about the God of this age, a reference to the devil, who has blinded the minds of unbelievers, keeping them from seeing the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ. What we preach, Paul emphasizes, is not ourselves but Jesus Christ as Lord. In another scene from Matthew's Gospel, Jesus rebukes the people of his age for their ability to read the sky for weather, but their inability to discern the signs of the times. Finally, in Luke, Jesus offers a beacon of hope amidst these tumultuous times. He urges us to watch and pray, so that we may be worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. In sum, these scriptures paint an intriguing picture of a world in spiritual and moral turmoil, a world not too dissimilar to ours. They urge us to stay vigilant, to pray, and to keep our focus on Jesus Christ as Lord. They remind us of the spiritual nature of our struggles and the importance of discerning the signs of the times. And most importantly, they offer hope, a promise of salvation for those who remain steadfast in their faith, even in the face of adversity.